Hey, look, we found Storm, or Storm found us. Either way, he's here. Okay. I found my watch, but a half an hour too late. That'll happen. Um, we have to kill a couple minutes here. Let's give it up, by the way, for our, our crew. Come on, Soul Rockacuni, come on. And look at you, you're dressed up like Principal Tabori. I am. I'm in my finest Principal Regalia. Principalia, I guess. <laughs> Something's going on with this one? Yeah, I guess so. Uh, Paul, you look very nice. This is a very nice suit. Thank you. It's a new suit, although I've gained a couple of pounds since I bought it, so I'm a little self-conscious about snapping it. Yeah, I've been in my stomach in the whole time. Yeah. Um, what can I tell you about our next act? Uh, well, first let me ask. Gotcha, okay. So, the, the cruise work is done, so I can segue to my next little bit here. Unless you have any other little comedy bits you want <laughs> no, to do. No, no, I have no comedy bits. Okay. Continue. Continue sure. with your segue. So, I, last year, sailed on Kayamo, which is a different charter cruise event. I make no judgments. Yeah, how dare you? Thank you. See them, see them setting up the space lasers right now. Yeah. I, um... Uh, it's, it's a singer-songwriter acoustic music uh, ch ch charter that I have wanted to go to go on for a long time, and uh, we wanted to steal their ideas. Yeah, basically, I was there for recon. I wore a big mustache over my existing mustache and beard, a, f a fedora. It was a whole thing. I carried around a big spy glass. For some reason, I was Sherlock Holmes instead of a spy. I was a little confused at the costume shop, and I got overwhelmed. Uh, but I, I wanted, you know, just wanted to, a bunch of the acts I really wanted to see, had some friends there, and waiting in line to get on the ship, I met our next performers, and before we had even gotten on board, I knew that I was going to book them for our cruise, because that was what my job was, to steal all of their good ideas, and their best idea was these next performers. Uh, they are delightful. They were my best buds on Kayamo. They got me into like the green room. We were staying up playing Uno until 2.30 and 3 in the morning with all kinds of weird-ass house rules that we would make up along the way. You can ask them about it somewhere uh, later on the cruise. Believe me, like, don't go half-assed into a game of Uno with these young women. Uh, I think we're done plugging and moving things around. So my anecdote shall end with, I am so happy to share with you, most of you, uh, maybe some of you have seen them before, but most of you will share my experience of having seen for the first time, Rainbow Girls. I guess it's me hanging out with you for a second. Yeah. It's so good to see you. It's so good to be here with you. It's been so fun to just walk about this boat and just observe and take part in the absurdity and the beauty that is this collection of people in this space. Wow! Holy oh, yeah. Truly floored by all of it. And now I need to plug in my stuff, so somebody else take a turn telling me. Hi! <laughs> my name is Aaron, aka JB, aka Jitterbug, aka Junebug, aka uh, Jackson Brown, <laughs> James Brown. I'm, I'm freezing, I'm freezing. Jim Poja? Nice. Jim Poja, yeah, that's me. <laughs> Jim has an amazing voice. Last night, I was swooning in the front row of the Yacht Rock. I also was swooning at the voice and the stature. You guys, can I ask you to, to do something for me? Can you just all, can you do your hands like this? Like so fast. We're creating, an, like energy we're creating ball. an energy ball and we're using the power of all of us. 
And if you want to chant energy balls, I know you like chanting. <laughs> you need to go faster than that. Are you going? I have a broken rib. Let me okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. But you guys need to go faster than that. As fast as you possibly can. You're making a ball. We're making a ball. And on the count of three, you're going to count down from three, and then you're going to throw the ball into, into the air. Uh, in front of you. <laughs> and three, two, one. And then you go. I was going so fast you couldn't even see it. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to hear some tunes? Yeah. Oh, we got those. We're gonna sing stuff. Can we actually get a round of applause for Josh Donnellman though? He's like next to Josh has to go after us so we don't have to play after. Alright, so we're gonna start with a cover. Uh, which we never do, but we're going to do it right now. We got a wild hair. Um, Alright, this song is originally by Les Paul and Mary Ford. Y do y'all know who that is? Yeah. Well, if you're like me, you grew up knowing a Les Paul is a guitar that you're not allowed to touch, or your dad was thinking. <laughs> and then when I was 20, I learned that he was a living human. Mm -hmm. no uh, one. The only one. And then uh, a little bit later I discovered uh, he had the luxury of being married to a badass babe and Mary Ford, who has, um, she's a little less known because she's a woman. Uh, have you heard about this? Do you know this problem with society? I feel like it's changing now. It's, it's an honor to be here during the change. And it's also because of people like Mary Ford that we can stand up here today without it being a huge pain in our butts. <laughs> um, one thing, one fun fact, two fun facts, maybe three, about Les Paul and Mary Ford is that they invented looping and multi-track recording so that she didn't have to harmonize with mortals. <laughs> like us. <clears throat> this one's for you, Mary.
and that's what I really want for the people who really piss me off. There's more love in their life. Shower them with love. Anyways, <laughs> here we go. Yeah. 
okay. We're new here. We're new at this school. And it feels like a feel like thing. Thanks. I think you said something nice. I didn't actually hear. <laughs> I'm gonna assume you did. Uh, we're new here, so it's kind of like first day of school, and also like a first date. A little bit with all of you. So we thought we we should tell you something about ourselves. Fun facts of Rainbow Girls. Are you going to go first? I can go first. Go. Fun fact about me. Hi, my name is Caitlin, and my fun fact yeah. is that <laughs> um, if I am sleeping, I have to have something <laughs> covering my elbows, like any like a towel or a sheet or a pillow, or else I believe it. A blanket, sure. <laughs> sure. <laughs> or uh, I believe that it's giving the ghosts in the room permission to fuck with me at night. You don't want to give them permission to do that. No. I'm like, not tonight. <laughs> <laughs> and it's been like that way my whole life. Good, good, good. Maybe I should see if there is a Yes! <laughs> Did anybody get to go to the How to Train Your Therapist today? I really wanted to go, but I was here sound checking. I'm so happy for you, though. Everybody really needs a therapist, but you need a good one. What's your fun fact? What's the um, thumbnail for that uh, version of How to Train Your Dragon, but a therapist? Like, <laughs> your dragon on like, a therapist couch? Because you sit on the couch, right? I sit on my couch. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Working on it? <laughs> Um, mine is also a childhood, it originated in childhood, um, the entirety of 6th grade and 7th grade when my mother would drive me to the bus stop because I was a lazy girl in the morning. Um, I would demand, or request, demand, sometimes it was a demand that we listen to the Pina Colada song every morning. So if you have Pina Colada That's what it was. Sign me up. What's your fun fact, please? Um, I can uh, list the first 20 elements of the periodic table. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Hydrogen, helium, lithium, beryllium, boron, argon, calcium, carbon. Nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine, helium, potassium, sodium, magnesium, oxygen, phosphorus, silicon, sulfur, chlorine. Well, 
fun. I gotta say that I expected more heckles. Yeah. We thought you would talk a little bit more shit. I think they're being nice because it's our first. There's well, okay, my love language is talking shit. That's <laughs> true. Specifically when you tell it to me. Yeah, yeah. not behind your back. That's your thing. Yeah. Oh yeah, giving you permission. But I think just for me, I don't know if that's called something like that. It's definitely just over here. Yeah, just talk shit to Aaron. You guys are too long, Oh, I don't know if that's true. Thank you. Nice. It is true, we are too nice. We should be a little bit more mean. Yeah, because <laughs> Bojo was so good yes. at tuning the guitar. That. We should be friends. Whoever said that. You know what I do want, though? I heard that Paul and Storm got panties thrown at them. I, I, I don't, it wasn't in this crew. It was the red crew. They say that the red crew is five more fiery than you. How do you feel about that? Oh, yeah, there it is. Everyone 
with us too. Oh, so Rainbow Girls. <laughs> RPG. Honey, you can you can get one too. There's one the color of my hair. Yeah. On deck. Two. two. And right outside of here. On deck two. On deck two. Deck two. That's this. Yes, yeah. and. Where can you get a cool beanie or a koozie that has sharks on it or uh, something I forgot? Deck two. two. I didn't hear that. Where? Deck two. It sounded like you guys just said dick two. <laughs> Holy. Deck. <laughs> okay. <laughs> really quick, we're going to play this song. It's not recorded yet. I'm so sorry if it's stuck in your head after this. It's a, a pop song. Yeah. A bad one at that. He's a musician. He's very funny. His name is John Craigie. We were on the phone. We were talking about how John Craigie fan right here. I'll tell him there was one. <laughs> I love that. Anyway, because we were on the phone and I was like, oh, I'm trying to write this song. He was like, well, that's what we're all trying to do is write the next best campfire song. And I was like, is that what we're doing? I had never tried that. Give me a second. <laughs> then I uh, proceeded to write this song. It didn't turn into a campfire song. It turned into like, a really annoying top 40s pop song with like cotton candy and I don't know. Yay! Auto tune with whipped cream balloons. Yeah. <laughs> so you have to imagine this song with like fake drums, no guitar, there's too much dignity in that. More like um, auto tune and key changes. And do y'all know what the millennial loop is? The modulation between the third and fifth of any given scale. It's used in pop songs to make them sound familiar, but you've never heard them before. This song is also in the key of C, which is the most basic key, and it employs the chords one, four, and five. Okay, great. So you have to imagine the. Yeah, help us out. I'm here. Try. This song called This is a song I'm going to sell to a pop star. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you so much for having me.